should be higher, right? Yeah. Okay. You can just crank it up. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. We are the Bowers Theater Duo, and tonight we are presenting Bar Harbor Music Festival's 37th Annual New Composers Concert. I'm Jessica Bowers, mezzo soprano. This is Orin Fader, guitar. We're going to describe a little bit of the program as we go, but if you happen to have access to different tabs on your computer, you can go to the Bar Harbor Music Festival site and there's a link for the program and the texts. So that's barharbormusicfestival.org if you're interested in checking that out. Our first piece this evening is written by Scott Wheeler and the poem is by Anna Ross. And it is called, She Left for Good But Came Back. And the poem was inspired by a painting by Shelley Bundy of North Dakota. And the caption of the painting is, was, she left for good one time but came back. Nobody ever asked about it. Yes. <laughs> 
so much for being here tonight. Um, good evening if you're on the East Coast. Good afternoon if you're on the West Coast, like my mom. Hi, Mom. Uh, uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us. Um, we're, as I said, we're going to speak a little bit about the pieces, uh, but I wanted to take the time to thank Bar Harbor Music Festival for having us on. Um, it's amazing that they're able to keep their season going. So all through July, please keep an eye on their website. They have, they have stuff last weekend. They have stuff for the next several weeks. And also, please consider uh, making a don donation to them uh, because they're having these concerts and they're paying their artists, but of course they have no ticket revenue this year because they have no audiences. So please, please give a thought to giving a little donation to Bar Harbor Music Festival if you are able. Indeed. Next on the program is uh, four wonderful uh, short pieces and one by Tim Mukherjee who's a great electric guitarist, a great composer, and a great friend of ours. Um, and these are called Everything Altars, Settings of Homes by W.B. Gates. And uh, they're all quite different and all quite beautiful. Thank you. 
so much and thank you to Tim. Uh, we hope, Tim, that you're able to watch us tonight, uh, be watching us from tonight, from wherever you may be. So our next piece is by Aaron Rogers, who is a person that Oren had worked with and known of, a woman that we, um, that he met several years ago. She's an amazing sax player, and composer and arranger and just does all kinds of wonderful things and we are so lucky that she wrote this piece for us. Um, the title of it is Lone Tenement and Erin wrote the words herself, um, which is interesting and different and, and cool for us. And she was inspired to write this poem by a painting called The Lone Tenement by George Bellows. And I think Oren has a little bit more to say. Uh, that painting's from 1919, and it's just, uh, you know, a day in the life of folks uh, you can imagine on the Lower East Side. And, uh, yeah, you mentioned she's an amazing sax player. Uh, we think we're busy, but Erin is more busy. Erin sent us a newsletter the other day, and she's just as busy as when it's not quarantine COVID time, and I'm, I'm so impressed by all that, that she and her ensembles are doing. So, Erin, if you're watching, we think you're amazing. Slightly past the gate, 
in the shade directly below the bridge, folks gather around a fire. website, there are links to the program tonight, and there are links to the texts and to the translations. And this, uh, this cycle is in Quebecois, which is very similar to French. So if you're interested in seeing the texts and the translations, go to barharbormusicfestival.org and scroll down a little bit, and there's a link specifically uh, for this. So if you have the ability to do that on your computer, please feel free to do that. And if you don't, uh the, the, like Jessica said, it's in Quebecois, and they're really taken from folk tunes, the, the lyrics, and uh, some of the melodies, but it's clearly in Bill's, uh, Bill's more modern language. And uh, J'entends le moulin is I hear the windmill. And you'll hear the first one, the, mid the windmill going around with a little um, vocal, oh, well, she's, Jessica's saying, don't give it away. You'll hear the windmill going around. And, uh, in my notes, it says, Bill is my buddy. Yes. That means, that means I've known Bill Anderson for about 30 years. When we were young, young people studying with David Starvin together. And, uh, you know, all these years, he's been a wonderful friend, wonderful uh, uh, guitarist and guitar partner, and also uh, our group Cygnus, uh, 
which is a, a, a sex tech who won. We all play interviews all the time. So Bill, it's a pleasure to play this. Plus, Thank you so much. As you'll see, a wonderful composer, and he has an album coming out, so uh, keep an eye out for that. Yes. And so after this, we'll take a brief uh, intermission, so you can all walk to your kitchen and get a drink. <laughs> That's good week.
Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for either just joining us or for coming back. Um, we are, again, the Bowers Fader Duo, and we are presenting the 37th annual New Composers Concert for Bar Harbor Music Festival. Um, uh, and again, we are so grateful of, for them, for having us on, and for, for continuing their season during, uh, during the time of quarantine. We're going to begin uh, our second half with a song cycle by Frank Brickle. And Oren will talk a little bit about Frank, but I wanted to talk about the song cycle a little bit. He, so Frank took six French and German poems that, that, have, that in the past have been set by Brahms, um, Debussy, Du Parc, Liszt, Beethoven, just a lot of people have set these um, poems, and as, as I was a student, I sang a lot of these um, in those settings. And so Frank was actually quite bold to take things that, you know, everybody knows the Brahms setting of, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, <laughs> it's right in front of you, Anna Eelshaka, for example. Uh, but Frank decided to do his own thing, and it's, it's amazing. So he wrote a, a through composed song cycle, so there's no break, but you will hear six poems, and it goes back and forth between. German and French. Um, and if you're able, if you have a computer set up where you can go to uh, where the texts are on the Bar Harbor Music Festival website, which is barharbormusicfestival.org, there's a link to the texts and the translations for all of these. So if you go to their homepage, scroll down a little bit, it's, it's real clear, it's right there. So uh, feel free to check that out if you'd like. Um, I think Oren has some stuff to say. Um, we love you, Frank. Right, Frank hopefully is uh, watching us from Vancouver, where it's 6 o'clock there. So Frank, we are it's early. We, yeah. you, we miss you, and we hope that you're able to watch tonight. Oh, <laughs> 
The first, of, I'm going to talk about each of David's songs separately because the first is called Ganga Yamuna, and it's in Hindi, um, and it's a poem that was written by his father-in-law on the occasion of his wedding. Um, so his, why, his wife's father wrote it <laughs> for them on the occasion of their marriage. Um, and it's about the place where the, the rivers, the Ganga and the Yamuna meet, and it talks about how the rivers meet and come one and become one. And this marriage symbolizes the two of you coming together and becoming one. Did my dad write us a poem too? <laughs> Bob, did you write us a poem? No, it should have been my dad. The dad oh, you're right, you're yeah. right, you're right. Anyway, so this is Ganga Yamuna by Dave Clement. Oh, me. 
Thank you, and thank you to David Clayton. We hope you're yeah. well. We hope you're able to, to tune in for tonight. So next is a little unusual on a new music program. We're going to have one piece that's not new music, and that is because Patrick Zimmerly, who is a buddy of mine from New York from many, many, many years ago, more than 25, um, great, great person and a wonderful sax player and a great composer. Now we know that. We heard one of his pieces at St. John the Divine. Right, last year, a giant year. oratorio. It's un yeah. unbelievable. Uh, but Pat is also in France a lot, living, living the high life there in the country. Uh, anyway, back to the music. So um, uh, uh, Pat Zimmerly was the one chosen to write us a piece for this special occasion tonight. And um, Made and possible by the Ditson Fund. Thank you very you much. The Ditson Fund and Bar Harbor, thank you so much. And what Pat did is he took an old song from the 1600s by John Dowland, who, as you may or may not know, was the, one of the greatest uh, 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 writers of song that ever lived. Uh, and he wrote mostly for the lute, so we can play all that stuff on guitar easily. And one of his most beautiful lute songs is called All Ye Whom Love or Fortune. Um, it's dark and sad, and he wrote a lot of those too. <laughs> anyway, so what Pat did is he took the lyrics uh, that Dallin probably wrote, we're not sure, but we think he took those lyrics, the text, and put his own music to those same lyrics. So his piece is called Dallin Reset. So what we're going to do uh, to make it fun is play the Dallin, and then we're going to play Pat's piece. We're going to jump ahead for 400 years, 400, 400 years. musical years, exactly. and play them back to back. Exactly. Um, and I'm going to tune quickly. And the different way they sit. The text is super amazing. I mean, it's uh, it's it's fascinating to me how how different these two guys. I mean, of course they did. They're four hundred years apart, but uh, but playing them side by side is uh, has been really interesting. I agree. And Pat made a point of not listening to the dialect. He he did that deliberately. So um, he's probably not listening now because it's in the morning in the Vosges, so he will probably listen later, but this may be the first time he's heard the Dowland setting of these words, so uh, I kind of hope it blows his mind. <laughs>
And the second song is about how to stave off ocean sickness by eating boiled meat, meat boiled in wine before you go on the ocean. And the third one is all about not eating too heavily during the summertime, but during the wintertime you can eat and drink as much as you like. Um, so there are seven songs. Uh, the sixth one is particularly apt. We've actually performed it a couple times during quarantine time. It's all about washing your hands. And it says, if you want to keep your humors healthy, wash your hands frequently. Um, and we just, you know, in March, April, that's anybody, all anybody could talk about was how much we had to wash our hands in 20 seconds and singing songs. So we, we love that that, you know, they knew that back in 1066, that the way to keep yourself healthy was to wash your hands. So we, we, we love that that's so apt today. So anyway, this is by Paul Salerni. Um, good friend, colleague of ours, on our album. We've actually recorded all an album's worth or more of, of music written by Paul Solari specifically for the Bowers Fader duo. So, please keep your eyes peeled for that. We'll be forthcoming soon, soon in, some, in some fashion. Senza vino la porcina, corre della pecorina. Senza vino la porcina, corre della pecorina. Ben peggior se vuol di si pesci, quasi farmacori esci, del bagnasso no pori. I porti son cattive, son cattive, son cattive.